first joined SWAN, a very new student work, two years ago, and a lot of people were interested in learning how to write songs. We decided to make this program called the Mixtape Cohort, where people can sign up to be paired with their own producer and then make a song for album on SWAN. I am a master's student in the Sound Arts and Industry program and I'm doing the 2024 mixtape for Swan. Um, I'm working with a few artists, Ali, Asha, and Anna, and having a great time recording some of their tracks. Um, a lot of different genres going on and we're getting in the studio now and really getting to early production and post-production depending on the different tracks. So it's been a great opportunity for collaboration and learning. Super excited for the mixtape and super excited that this is happening. We have been making a lot of ticket outreach with the university community. So excited to be an art of this issue. Um, I'm a photographer myself, so actually being in a photo shoot is really a fun experience to be in front of the camera and so behind it. Um, and I think it's also really special and like a unique way to promote the next day for my music. It's really nice because you always want to put like a nice picture for your son, so this can be one. And it's just nice to hang out with other people and to have this one shoot together. Having the resources of a really high college um, to do that is very exciting, very fun. I'm really impressed by the scale of this whole feature and I think the photos look amazing for what I've seen so far. It's been a great opportunity and we have the best place to be taking these in this like old Hogwarts library. Um, but yeah, I felt really awkward getting the poses but had some good help from the photographers and I think from my early looks at the, the pictures, the, the vibe's great. So. It's really weird to be <laughs> If I'm speaking perfectly candidly, although I am super excited because I haven't really had a photo shoot experience before. Um, but yeah, this is a super fun career. People, we love Elena. Hey, um, I'm Elena. I'm the photographer for this story. We laid against like, one of the sides. Is it awesome? I had a great time photographing the story. Um, everyone from Swan is very responsive and had some great ideas, um, so they made my job very easy. For this story, I really wanted to capture everyone's individual vibes and um, just get the looks they were going for. Um, so I was going for kind of like indie, creative, a little offbeat, but also just very true to who each artist was. I reached out to Nia like a few days ago. I also talked with the designer and we kind of talked about what she had in, in mind and then what I had in mind and then went from there. Yeah, we just kind of wanted to make her like the fo focal point of the photo shoot and like show both like her STEM side and like her artsy side. So like we got some shots of her like writing her equations on the board and then um, her artwork as well. I kind of gave her like a little bit of what we had in mind of what we wanted the photos to be and then we also like let her um, pick like what kind of poses she wanted to do and like which of her artworks to feature. I haven't really been photographed about baby life, so it's something that I'm not really used to, but it, it is kind of fun. Yeah. So for this photo shoot with Sylvia and Banksy, I initially reached out to them, kind of asking about when their availability is, and in my email, make sure to like include maybe what Banksy's like what they like to do at Northwestern, like going on walks and where they like to go on walks. So we scheduled our photo shoot for in like a front deering. I really enjoyed uh, doing this photo shoot today as, you know, meeting dogs, you don't really get to like, you see them walking on campus, but kind of, you're sometimes, I was sometimes shy to like ask them if I could pet her. Um, and so it was really welcoming to meet Sylvia and then Big C, um, just kind of, you know, play, play around um, and like take photos. As a photographer for Indians Magazine, uh, this was also a great opportunity for me to not only be in the process of like being a photographer, but also like reading the sources and just like, hearing about their, their stories firsthand. 